Here's the first ball of day two. Janaid Khan to bowl it. Oh, this one's off the glove. Almost pops to the keeper, Francois Stoneman. And you can see what Michael McCann was talking about. A little bit of extra bounce, especially with the new ball. A bit of seam movement as well from Janaid there. Well, that is slightly fuller. Chipped away just over the head of square leg. I think about two. They are going to take two. This is tight. And have they got him? Well, the square leg umpire is going to send this upstairs to the third umpire, but they look very, very confident out there, Portugal, that they've done it. It's a good pick up from Stoneman. He didn't get a great bounce. See, there he's significantly out. And well, this time, finally, Cookie Hale belatedly gets Hungary's first boundary of the game from the penultimate ball of the power play. Well, that is too short, and it's too slow as well to be really troubling Cookie Hale. He finds a gorgeous pull shot for six, so it's our first six, which this Portuguese side is built. Again, he's gone too short and flat batted down the ground, baseball style. Back to back boundaries for Cookie Hell. Fuller skied a long way up. And it's gone a long way as well. Six over long on. And Cookie Hell is really taking a liking to save here. It's his second six of the six of the over, beg your pardon. And it's his third boundary already. And he goes again, make it 22. Well, everything's either in the slot or it's way too short. Just can't find that in-between length save. And Hungary, all of a sudden, are uh, up and firing. Yeah, this is another ball in the slot, you called it. And I think that it's just hitting practice for Zeeshan. Well, it is a slow ball, but it's the same result. It's yet another 6.28 from the over. They only made 10 off the power play, but they're up and going now. Wow, 28 taken off Amir Zaib. Skied up. This could be a catching chance, or it could be six more. It is six more. Well, Zahir Safi Mohammed is joining in the fun now. He's watched Cookie Hell hit all those sixes in the previous over, and he said, I'll have a piece of this. This is again through that long on region. And again, it's six more. Well, hasn't this turned around quickly? Hungary, having made just 10 off the power play, have scored 40 in the nine balls since. Quicker ball, but the same result. Well, they can't put a field of 20 meters back past the long on rope, unfortunately, Portugal. And it is yet more carnage. So extraordinary hitting here. That is the 8th 6 from the last 11 balls I make it. And yet again, 6 more over long on. Well, they're having a hitting contest here, Cookie Hale and Mohammed. And it's Mohammed who's getting a few ledgers up on his partner here. Another one flies through. Well, we're going to have to start telling air traffic control at Malaga Airport about this because there's a lot of Kookaburra cricket balls. Short, and this will be four through backward point. Pull up. It's a nice looking unconventional drive, but not a nice looking bit of fielding. Full toss, and he's got him. Well, this explosive partnership has ended in the most unlikely of ways. It's a full bunger that dismissed Sahir Safi Mohammed. Mashbadan Manjan, who comes up next. And he starts immediately with a straight six. Well, that's how to announce yourself. That's how to get going. So Khan concedes 14 from. Goes for the ramp. And he's caught. Well, Takaziz isn't going to drop that one straight to him. Tries to get funky, Manjan, but perishes for seven off three balls. He's tried to demonstrate that here, but might be gone. He is gone, caught it long on, so it's two in two. And the Portugal skipper Shazad won't get a chance to take his hat trick because that's the last ball of his spell. He'll have to finish with oh so impressive figures. He swung this one away and he could be gone as well. It could be a team hat trick. It is taken, 83 for five. 
Well, that's a big blow for Hungary because Cookie Hale has been the one causing the carnage, but he has to go as well. It's a second wicket for Imran Khan. 37 year old and immediately tries to go down the ground. It could be four in four. Nope, it's six. Just gets over the head of Junaid Khan. He's done exactly what you want someone to do at this stage of the innings. He's immediately opened his shoulders. He's found a valuable maximum for the Hungarian. Comes down and flicks this away through long on. What a brilliant piece of ball striking from Kaiba Delda. That is outweigh, outrageous. Just the, just the way he breaks his wrists on contact here. Watch the wrists. Nicked and yet another. Khan has his third to finish his spell. The hungry collapse continues. It is six dot out for Delda. And Hungary are 96 for six at the end of the eight. This could be yet another wicket. Tough chance. There's a lack of communication and it's brilliantly taken in the end. Well, they're all smiles now, but that was not easy and not helped by the fact that Anthony Chambers down the ground and it's yet another. Well, they're catching pretty much everything here. And it's that man again, Anthony Chambers, who holds on. This is a good low catch this time. And Hungary in 96 for eight. Down the ground, a lovely clean shot from Aswaf Nairana. And that's a straight six. Well, Hungary finally get past the 100 mark. They've been stopping and stalling on their way through the 90s. That is too full in the slot. And he's gone for six over long off, over pitched. Shorter, but that gets the treatment as well. We picked up the length so quickly here, Esraf Narana. Skied up, tough chance. And it's taken as well. A gem would have been really good in the field, Portugal. And they've picked up a ninth. Esraf Narana from the equation, last ball coming up. Flipped away, and this will be runs, and it will be four of them. A brave diving effort from Paolo Buccimasa, but it's not good enough, and Hungary will be very happy with that. They finish on 124 for nine. They finish with a flourish as well. The last over conceding 16. Desperate stuff from Buccimasa, and from 10 for one at the end of the power play. Very clever with his variations, the way that he changes speeds. He is harsh. James cracks it straight at the fielder and runs, but changes his mind. Well, that's fortunate. <laughs> this is not what you want. Well, that's a short ball. Almost a bounce up from Andia, but it bounces off the fence. And that's the first boundary of the Portuguese inning. Hit hard and hit straight. This is a really nice shot from Imran Khan. Swung away, slog sweep from Gomes. That's an audacious shot against Mohandas. And it's gone for six through fine leg. Well, I mentioned he's played club cricket at a high level. He's a very good addition to this Portugal side. Gomes this time goes through the covers and possibly should be out really. Dropped an extra cover. You can see the frustration. Hungry know that this is Ketapal. He gets cut away for four, short and wide. And that is something of a gift to a player of Imran Khan's quality. He wasn't going to miss out. Shorter. Mistimed. Not an easy one. And it's taken on the juggle. Unconvincing, but he's held on. Kaiba Delda. And that's 27 for one. It is Ketapal who does the trick. And they've got the breakthrough. Ketapal. Now, has he got a flick on that down leg? Yeah, he's walking. Doesn't even wait for the umpire's decision. And Abhishek Ketapal, who has a nice knack of taking wickets, the top wicket taker at the ECS in Hungary this year, is doing it on the stage of the ECC. He is on a hat trick. It's off and running. And that means Ketapal. Short. Could be Gomshout as well. It is Gomshout as well. 28 for three. Well, Ketapal might not have his hat trick, but he's got yet another wicket in this incredible over. It's their ball. Missed by Chambers. They're appealing for court behind, and it's out. Well, that is bizarre. Chambers is gone for a two ball duck. The finger goes up from 
Umpire Croucher. W would like to have just the one. Shorter, pulled away by Shazad, and he's going to get four. You're challenging me now. <laughs> Could be another wicket, and it is another wicket. Well, it is a, a bit of a repeat of yesterday's game so far in truth. Hungary put a total up in the 120s, and Portugal struggled to get anywhere near it. And right now... The first ball from Amandeep is through the long on area, but he's gone. Well, his bad day gets even worse. His only over got smacked for 28. And now he joins the ever-growing Portugal Duck Club. It is a golden duck for him. Nice cut from Buchimaza. One bounce four. Cut away. Another nice looking cut from Buchimaza and picks up four more. Well, there was a real flourish to this one. Could be out and is out. That's nice glove work. And Portugal have lost yet another one. 60 for eight. Here at the European Cricket Network. So that's a, a gorgeous flick away from Stoneman. Well, he's been trying all sorts of funky shots, but this one has come off. It's one of the shots of the week. He's got it away for six over fine leg. Steps across again, Stoneman, and goes again. Well, it's six more over fine leg. Well, the Gamage just isn't learning. So we have seen a lot of two and twos. Well, speaking of two and two, it's two and two for Stoneman. It's batting better than the number 10, though. And this time goes a bit more conventional and gets a little edge and he's out. Well, Stoneman's fun is over. And to his great credit, he immediately nods and, nods and walks off. Doesn't wait for the umpire's decision. So it's the end of the ninth. Swung away by Buchimaza. Could be gone. Oh, they've collided. That's horrible. A total lack of communication from the two fielders. On Wednesday evening, and then again on Thursday. So that last ball is hit away by Junaid. Trot through for a single, and that will be that. So Portugal finish on 97 for nine. It is a game that's taken a similar pattern to the match that the two teams shared yesterday. Hungary posting 129 yesterday and managed 124 today. Yesterday, Portugal managed 94 for eight. And similarly today,